My question is, why would it take this long for Republican senators and Republican congressmen and Republican governors and state reps and state senators, why would it take you this long to figure out that Donald Trump shouldn't be president? If you've made, if you've made a career of idolizing Ronald Reagan, then where were you when your party's nominee for president was kissing up to Vladimir Putin, the former KGB officer? I, I, you, know, you, you, you used to criticize me for even talking to the Russians. Now suddenly you're okay with your nominee having a bromance with Putin. If you come from a family of immigrants, like almost everybody here does unless you're Native American, where were you when your party's nominee for president called immigrants criminals and rapists? If you're a Republican official or leader out there and you've run for office on family values, family values, why wouldn't you walk away from him months ago when you heard your nominee for president call women pigs and dogs and slobs and grade them not for their character or their intellect, but on a scale of one to ten? You don't have to be a husband or a father to stand up for women. You don't have to have a disability to say it's wrong to mock somebody with a disability. You don't have to be a Muslim to stand up for our fellow citizens who are just as patriotic as we are. You just have to be a decent person, and you just have to love this country.